So here we have Patrick and Ashley when they bought their first home. Well, when they're buying their second home, who would have thought they would be buying their second home and selling at the same time in the midst of a worldwide pandemic? Their timing is impeccable. About four and a half years ago, Patrick and Ashley Oney, they were buying their first home. But not only that, they were getting married. So they were getting married, joining their lives, buying their first home all at the same time. It was really an exciting time for them. So just a few months ago, I received a phone call from them telling me that they had decided that it was time that they started at looking for a new home. They wanted something bigger and uh, it was time. So we met together and talked about some of their questions and, and the process. Some of the questions they had were very, very relevant questions. They had a home to sell and wanted to buy a home. One of their questions was, how do we sell and buy at the same time? We were, we were thinking like, oh yeah, this might be the home in between homes, but then we were thinking like, well, what if we could find our forever home right now? What if we could find something that is our forever home that we could afford? And we kind of got to this mindset of like, well, if that's the case, if that's something that we want to go after, we can't settle. And so the concern was, how do we buy and sell a home and not feel rushed and not feel forced like like that we're going to have to eventually settle for something. I was really touched by Patrick and Ashley when they said that they wanted to look for their their forever home. So we started a process of buying of, of buying a home. We started looking for a home. They decided they wanted to buy or find a home first. We knew it wouldn't take long for their town home to sell. So we went out and looked at homes. It was a really interesting experience. It was an eye-opening experience. I told them to to buckle their seat belts. This was going to be very, very interesting. Okay, here's the update from our Friday night, uh, Friday night fight in the, uh, in the <laughs> real estate market. All right, two houses. We looked at uh, Ashley, and I think that we might have seen Patrick shed a little tear <laughs> in one of them. He did. He almost he did. <laughs> Patrick, what are the two things that are most important to you? Basement space. And? Yard. Why? Um, well, first of all, man's got to have a good basement for all of his toys. Man cave stuff, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then backyard, man's got to have a good backyard for... No, it's not just for you. For his dogs, <laughs> um, we have for an 85, barbecues. We have an 85-pound monster that needs and, room to run. And, so. and, and man's got to be able to mow his backyard, so... Yeah, yeah, it was it yeah, was great. It was great. And we walked downstairs and we saw Patrick going. <gasps> yeah. We really think he had a tear. Yeah. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. So, Ashley, um, the one tonight, uh, what's most important to you? It's location, right? Uh, location is probably number one. And then, for me, kitchen. And what did you think about the first one we saw? Location was awesome. I mean... It was like a 12 out of a 10, right? Yeah. Like, it was awesome. It was perfect distance for me, perfect distance for him to work. It was not like... We're going to spend hours commuting every day. It was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And the kitchen was good. It was good. Yeah. yeah. It definitely, I mean, like, it needs work, but... A little bit. But yeah. that's okay. Like, we're we're not afraid to put that in, so... Yeah, but pretty minimal cosmetic yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was cosmetic and stuff. And if you're going to so. look at forever, you're... And un, you will definitely be putting in work in your house at some point. At some point, right. So, and it's to keep it updated, keep it fresh, keep it, you know, feeling new. And that you still love it, so... Putting in some work has never been an issue. Right. So here we are. We're ending our Friday night after looking at two homes. Yep. We have one of them that we are, you probably, we're going to put an offer on, I think. I think I think so. I've got the vibe. I think so. Yep. So think wish us luck. And uh, hopefully we have something to celebrate. We looked at a number of homes. We put in, gosh, four offers. And uh, repeatedly, ha we're, we're, we could not, they were not competitive because they had a contingency on selling their home. It was stressful. I mean, I think it caused a fair few fights between the two of us. Yeah, it did. Um, um, there were a few times that we were not talking to each other because we just, we, we were frustrated. And it was, it was just like, are we ever going to find that house? Are we ever going to find something? And then when we put in an offer on a house that we really liked, it was like they would choose somebody else because we had a contingency factor or because of other things that happened. And so it was stressful. We had to change their strategy. So they got even more aggressive and we started using an escalation clause. And they, we finally got a property under contract that they really liked in, uh, in Lehigh, something they were very excited about. As we looked at, 
at homes in the North Utah County area with any buyer, there's an evolution. Uh, there's a realization that they come to with what the market really is doing. And we have a, we have a very fast paced market. We, things are going very, very quickly. It's very competitive. But what I noticed about Patrick and Ashley, as we talked through this experience with every home that we went through and, and talked about the pros and cons and how it met their needs, I saw them becoming even more and more thoughtful in their process. They got crystal clear on what was important to them in a home. We utilized the escalation clause a lot. Um, it was something that I think in the end showed that we're willing to work with whoever wants to work with us. Um, I think we had to ultimately really come down and decide what type of house we wanted. We had to decide how big we wanted the house, how much work we were willing to put into the house. Um, we had to decide, I mean, there was a lot that we had to decide well, within that first few times of looking at houses. And I think, I think with the house that, that we're getting, you know, it, it wasn't, it certainly wasn't what I, <laughs> what I thought we were going to end up getting in the end. Um, there were things that we, we didn't settle by any means, but we, we did have to compromise a little bit um, in terms of like age of the house or even layout of the house. Mm -hmm. Things um, that needed to be done on it. I mean, it's not perfect. It, yeah, it's not, it's not perfect, but it will be. Like, like we understand, like, being that it is a forever home for us, or at least that's what we hope it to be, mm -hmm. a lot can be changed, and it can be made into what we want it to be. It doesn't have to be that right way right away. Um, and so the layout wasn't quite what I had in mind, um, but function-wise, it really gives us everything that we want. And, and at the end of the day, that's what we really had to come down to is what is it that we want that comes from the house and does this house meet what we want from it? When we walked through the home that we ultimately got under contract, the neat thing about it was they were open-minded about the home may not have looked like what they thought it would look like, but it met their needs and it met their, it gave them the benefits that they were looking for. So that was a really neat transformation that, that I watched uh, as they, they went through that process. But what they did is we had done a lot of preparation work for the listing of their townhome. So they spent the first three to four weeks before we even started looking in getting their home ready to sell. We had the cleaners come in. We had, um, they started packing up their stuff and cleaning some things out. So we went through a very thorough uh, consultation on what to do to sell the, to sell the home. So when we got it under contract, we had in three days, we had their home ready to list.